Good morning. Good morning. After last week's big story about the first ever detection of gravitational waves, I've got another great story for you about hidden galaxies beyond our Milky Way. So you know how when you look at the dark night sky, you can see the edgewise view into our own galaxy? Well, you can see that because our galaxy, our island of stars in space, is flat like a pancake. And it's so crowded with stars and dust that astronomers can't see through it at optical wavelengths. But now they've used radio telescopes to peer through the galactic plane to view hundreds of formerly hidden galaxies. We now know some 883 galaxies, at least in this region of space. A third of these galaxies had never been seen before. In recent decades, we've also known there's some great attractor here, some hidden concentration of mass 250 million light years away, pulling on our Milky Way galaxy and pulling hundreds of us and hundreds of thousands of other galaxies toward it. Knowing about these hidden galaxies sheds light on the great attractor, these astronomers say. Here's a cool story about scientists going to Tibet this summer in the search for life on Mars. Uh, what you're seeing here is a spacecraft image of a place where geologic activity on Mars uh, resulted in a deep basin on the Martian surface. So there might have been lake beds filled with water as recently as a few tens of millions of years ago. And those might have been places on Mars where life could have gotten a foothold. So that's, uh, uh, before we go on, notice the arrows near the top of the picture. They're pointing to ridges that might have been formed in these ancient lakes as sediments pushed outward. And so that's where Tibet comes in. They see similar ridges around freezing lakes uh, in Tibet. And that's why researchers will visit Tibet this summer. Uh, they want to investigate frozen lake beds high in the Himalayas, and they say that they are possible earthly analogs to what might have been habitable lakes on the planet Mars. We talked a few weeks ago about asteroid 2013 TX68. Uh, it'll pass closest to us in early March. Astronomers have been trying to figure out how close. They were originally saying 11,000 miles, and now they've revised that figure upward to 19,000 miles. But uh, both estimates bring the asteroid inside the orbits of some satellites. And also look at the range in possible distances here. It goes from a few thousand miles to millions of miles. So there's a lot of uncertainty. And there's also uncertainty in the date of closest approach of this asteroid. Um, it could be anywhere between March 5th and March 9th. And here's why astronomers are so uncertain about asteroid 2013 TX68. It's because the asteroid is coming at us from the sun's direction in our sky. And astronomers have said all along that that's a blind spot in our study of close passing asteroids. They can't see the asteroid now. They can't track it. So they know it's there based on just a handful of observations that were made in the year 2013. So, it's exciting. Astronomers do say there's no danger of an impact, but this object is an interesting study in how much we don't know about some close passing asteroids. That's all for now. I'll talk to you Thursday.